points, ranks number one on an entire list in the entire tournament. Take a look at some of his top five picks here. You can see it all starts with his corners. Champ Bailey, Deion Sanders, these guys locked down on the outside for his secondary. Deion Sanders will be a, play a pivotal role against Joke's vertical passing game. Marvin Harrison, he is a uh, big slot receiver over the middle of the field, wants to control that middle of the field. Chad Johnson and Donovan McNabb, the guys to take the top off the defense for D. Jones. Yeah, that offense did not look good in game number one. He's going to need a better performance here in game number two out of D. Jones. And we welcome Joke to the main stage. And <laughs> this is a guy that he can get very emotional. He's a very talented Madden player. But when he can keep those emotions in check, that's really the key to him moving on and sort of sort of getting into that top 10 of the Madden world. Joke is your worst nightmare if you come have to play him in a Madden tournament. A lot of it starts with his roster here. Take a look. Night Train Lane at corner. Night Train Lane, a lot of speed, a lot of size, a lot of athleticism at the corner position. Then, of course, Deion Sanders. We've seen Deion Sanders on all of these <laughs> rosters for good reason. Yep. And then the GOAT himself, Jerry Rice. And then let's take a look at this. Donovan McNabb, Randy Moss combination right here. Interesting to note when you talk about that Randy Moss uh, on Joke's roster, you didn't see one on D. Jones' roster. Yeah, he's really unconventional. Let's take a look at the scouting report here, brought to you by our good friends at Xbox. For D. Jones, it's all about winning when it counts here. This is a big opportunity. You can't drop to 0-2. You had that first matchup against Young Kiv. You did not play well. You lost 45 nothing. You got to win here now. Now for Noble Joke, you got to take a look at controlling your emotions. He has said previously at past tournaments that he has not been able to play his best because he lets adversity get into his head and now he's working on composure, composure, composure. If he can stay calm, cool, collected, feels like he's got a good shot to win. Well, it's a pivotal game two here in Group B. D. Jones is coming off of flooding and Joke with a close one against Goes. And now, can Joke move to 2-0 or can D. Jones come back to one and one? And here's the kickoff. Right at the get though, I like that. You hear D. Jones saying, let's go, baby. Yeah, trying to, to get himself refocused after that game against Kiv. And he'll start his drive at the 23-yard line. We like to see him first drive possession here. Like to see him move the ball well downfield, get into scoring range to get off to a hot start if you're D. Jones. Quickly goes to Davis and you know, sometimes that's how you can get yourself going. A couple short passes, uh, mix in the running game, and then you can try to take the top off the defense. It, it, that is absolutely the entire focal point of how you want to play competitive Madden. You got to pass short, make your opponent respect the short part of the field, and then you take the defense deep downfield. So second and six, Donna McNabb in the gun. And has to throw it away. There's this blitz there. Holding There's team. our second <laughs> intentional That's grounding wild. that we've seen. And you hear right there from D. Jones. Guys are blitzing their entire teams. What that means, he's sending six defenders after the quarterback from both edges of the field. You're getting this defender here, that defender there. They're screaming at the quarterback. You got to make him pay. He's been unable to do so in the game number one. Let's see if he can. Iron it out here in game number two against Stop. Joke, and he finds Cooks Stop. up the seam to the 43-yard line. It's had a rebound right there if you're D. Jones. Pivotal situation. Don McNabb gets the ball out quickly down the field. He went for the possession catch, the safe catch I'd like to point out there as well. McNabb has time. This finds Chad Johnson, brings it to the 35. That's going to bring up second and short. Good tempo from Jones right here. Now in second and short, the world is your oyster. You can attack vertically, you can attack short. A lot of plays open in your playbook here. Go into the air again. And then just throws it away. You'd love to see him get Howard involved in the offense at the backfield. Yeah, it, it, you bring up a really solid point in the fact that D. Jones was once a running play, oh, yeah. uh, run first player, and now he comes into the, the, the championship pass oriented, really changing his entire game plan. You gotta be kidding me. Cooks man. can't hold on, and that's gonna bring up a fourth and two. And that really hurts. You get eight yards on first down, and the next thing you know, you're facing a fourth and two. Yeah, especially when you had the receiver wide open. Uh, but in these situations, fourth and two, you really need to watch out for two things on the defense side of the ball. Vertical seam in the middle of the field and a drag underneath. Now, quick throw. Davis. 
And we'll lean down to the 26-yard line. That'll move the chains. Big fourth down conversion. And what you're seeing D. Jones do here, he's throwing to the short part of the field. What then that means is your defense has to protect the short part. That'll open up the deep pass in the middle of the field and run to the interior. Up under center this time, he'll hand it off to Howard. And he'll pick up one. But you know what? When you, you get down into a running formation, it's a little bit expected. Yeah, and D. Jones, he wants to run the ball if he can, and they'll be all about tempo in this one. Nab has time, finds. Johnson to the 22-yard line. Five of seven for 63 yards. Good start here for D. Jones. Taking what Joke is giving to them there. Focus, calm look on his face, even though he just lost 45-0. Coming out here with a good drive. Tough game, question mark. And hands it off to Howard. And that's what you like about uh, the young running back for the Bears. He's a guy that's tough to bring down. Yeah, in the short flat, Howard will wreak havoc on a defense there. Comes into the first defender. You'll see a big truck fall forward for those big yards. Now you're getting that part of the field so difficult to score in. Watch for inside run here, maybe a run to Howard once again. This time, it's all sort of <laughs> penetration. <laughs> and he'll lose five yards. You'll see here the user defender shoots right in through the A-gap, takes down the quarterback. I mean, you heard D. Jones kind of chuckle at that, that, but that was a user play by Joke right through the A-gap. Second and 15 goes to Cumberland. Severely hit in the hands. Another case of the drop bugs in this one. Uh, that's a, three drops already here for D. Jones in this opening drive. Now third and 15, tough to come by here. You're already in field goal range. It's all about getting points on this drive for D. Jones. You can't force anything here. Back of the gun, Howard to his right. McNabb barking out the orders. Big third down. McNabb, good job picking up the blitz. And he'll just throw it away and live to fight another day. Phenomenal opening drive for D. Jones, though. That, and that is how you get back into a tournament. That's how you get back into a game right here. He opens up the drive. He moves the ball all the way down the field. He was able to dink and dunk. He ran the ball. His, his uh, run and pass selection was, was great. A very balanced drive. Uh, and that's a great way to start this one here to get momentum back on his side after that, that big loss to Kiv. Not very good at math, but three is better than zero. I mean, he didn't even score a point in the last one. So already an improvement. But 207. Joke's going to get the ball for the first time. And he also has Donovan McNabb. And he's going to mix it up with Tony Dorsett, Chad Johnson, of course, Randy Moss out there. He'll be doing work. When you take a look at Joke and, and how he performed on the ladder, played over 600 games to get to this point, and he won 90% of them. That's ranked number one in this entire field of 32. He's an absolute gamer. Screaming. And there's some heat off the left edge, and has to throw it away second and 10. Yeah, pressure off that edge from that corner blitz there from D. Jones. You'll see that the defenders will come off the, uh, these edges on the outside. That's where you want to generate pressure in a competitive game of Madden. There's Second again. down, McNabb's going to scramble and able to slide down at the 33-yard line. Let's go to Zach with a game break. After getting a stop, goes Madden, drove down, but he got stopped in the red zone. He was able to take three, though, and that's where he sits in his game against Young Kiv. Three nothing there, three nothing here. And a big third and two for Joke on his opening drive. McNabb decides to throw it quickly, and that moves it out to the 42 yard line. And I tell you what, Green, we've seen him on a few guys' rosters, has played big today. Yeah, he's a big, uh, versatile tight end. Really can stretch defenses down the field. Uh, a lot of speed there as well. Ball at the 42, a little delay. Tony Dorsett, former Cowboy. Do you know where you played college ball? <laughs> SMU. I, I, no, that's not, a, that's not a bad guess. <laughs> I was going for it. I was going for it. It's not a bad guess for a running back in the 80s. Uh, that would have been Eric Dickerson. SMU the, Smoo. SMU the Mustangs? Yeah, yeah, kick them Look at that. Yeah. I wrote that. I, I, Scott, I've been 
paying attention a little bit to some college. Yeah, you know? I'm trying to bring you in. I'm trying to slowly bring you along. Into the brotherhood. Of course, Tony Dorsett played at Pitt. Okay. That's also where Dan Marino played. Third and four. Joe going to work. And a great find that's at a, the 40-yard line. That's a beautiful little play right there. He uses motion to have a delayed corner pattern out of the backfield. You motion the receiver one step inside, snap it. You'll then see all, the user defender has to go to the quick drags, ins and outs, and then that opens up that corner pattern for an easy conversion. You know, the interesting thing about Joke is he's a pure gamer. You know what I'm saying? He's a guy that doesn't watch a lot of football on Sundays but plays a ton of Madden. First and ten. Goes back Why to Dorsett. Is pancakes? And he has got Jesus Christ. some running room. And Dorsett oh finds Lord. the end zone. Knock, knock, who's there? You want to hear a joke? <laughs> it's Dorsett. <laughs> well, the, the joke was on D. Jones' defense there. A lot of his defenders dropping into coverage. Now, what happens if you're not blitzing enough defenders after, after the quarterback right there. right there? You're going to get bowled over like you saw right there. Easy touchdown there for Joke. That was our, that was, by the way, that was our, we both get one pun, one <laughs> joke pun. That was it. We used it. I'm, we used I'm it early. Saving mine. I'm saving mine. Okay. I get so one you're too. saving yours. All right. I, I burned a timeout early. <laughs> I think Fall's joke tally is at like four, though. I heard him in that previous yeah. game. It's pretty bad. Seven to, seven to three is your score here. And Dean Jones trailing by four. It was a nice job working it toward the sideline. That's going to bring up a second and three here from the 29. Yeah, doing a nice job taking the short passes once again right there to get into a better situation on second down. Nobody open, but able to find Vernon Davis on a playmaker. Let's go to Zach with a game break. After third and one, a run commit, and Kiv scores. He's now up 7-3 over goes. Appreciate it, Farles. We've got a good one here going into the Second quarter here, Group B action. We're seeing D tomorrow. This is a three-week Madden championship that'll culminate to the single elimination. But we're hanging out in the group stages right now, and McNabb slides down to the 40-yard line. That's going to make it second and five. And a three-week culmination to, to conclude the season. But, yeah. you know, if you really think of how far we've come, you know, from the beginning of the year, dated back all the way to the Classic, started in December. We then went to the Madden Bowl, uh, the Super Bowl, the Madden Challenge a month ago, and here we are at the championship today. This has been a, a whole tournament span over five months. You know, the last game was, Joke is ranked number eight. Kiv come, came in at nine. 45 to nothing, blasting. So, so now he's got a chance to bounce back. He's been a lot more patient here in the early going. Still trailing by four, third and inches. McNabb. He goes to Vernon Davis, on, who coughs it up. And it's scooped by That's Harrison wild. Smith. Can McNabb catch him? He will, but not for, for the turnover down to the eight yard line. Guess who? Night Train Lane in the flat, one of his top five players on his roster, making a big play for him, scooped up by Harrison Smith. It's a big play right there for Joke. First and goal from the eight. Go to Tony D. Dorsett out of bounds at the five yard line. Both these players taking what their defense is giving them, really, really forcing the flat in the situation. Like to see one of these guys on defense here take the flat away. Goes back to Dorsett, uh, but this time a nice job on the defense by D. Jones as Buchanan closed the gap. Third and goal. And we'll reach out for the goal line. We'll be just shy. So fourth and goal, what do you do here, Gibbs? Go for it. You go for it. You just <laughs> lost 45 nothing. He had a quick little delay. In pattern right there off of that corner he ran earlier. Now you sneak it in. And he's going to hand it off. Let's power go. O. You know what rhymes with power O? No. Done. Big time stop. Look at it again. Three, Big bro. stop for D. Jones. He gets an interior lineman to go free through the hole where the power O. But now you're in a tough spot if you're D. Jones. Back up in your own end zone. And it finds Cooks. Great pass. That'll pick up 19. And it'll give him some. 
breathing room here with 325 left in the quarter. You know, after that big turnover, Joe doesn't come away. You, you, you talk to Donovan McNabb chasing down Night Train or wow. Harrison Smith from behind. Comes away with no points on that possession there from Joe. Trying to throw the Bosa. drag, but Joey Bosa was right there, was not rushing hard, able to knock it down. Second and ten. Boy, Bosa's played a big part in this opening two group stages. And Vernon Davis. Hauls it in at the 27, big third and three coming up for D. Jones. Vernon Davis, seven receptions in this one already. That can really tell you the focus of Jones in this one. Good job picking up the blitz. Got to get rid of it. He will. Finds Johnson. He'll move the chains. Ball to 35 now. I love the way Jones is playing right now. His tempo, you know, he had a great stop right there on the goal line. He's, he's dinking and dunking underneath. That's eventually going to open up a deep seam in the middle of the field for him. Yeah, some quick snaps. Still able to get pressure, even with the quick snap. Ball now at the 42, second and three. He's getting a lot of yards on first down. Yeah, and he's taking what Joke is giving him. Joke, at some point, will have to take away the flat if he wants to stop Jones right now. And that will open up the deep vertical patterns downfield. Two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. That's Ocho Cinco. Good pressure. McNabb, that's my quarterback, man. Throws it away. Yikes City on that play right there. Throws off the back foot away. Good pressure off the edge from Joke. Now third and three. Watch for these quick flat patterns again. That's where you've been seeing the tight end vertically out on the, the sideline. Got to get rid of it. It's and he be. won't. It's a big time sack. And on fourth and 11, they'll go for it. This is a tough spot to be in if you're Jones here. You haven't really thrown the ball downfield, not in rhythm here. Watch for Cooks breaking over the middle of the field. I might take this to the two-minute warning and think about it a little bit. It's a big moment in the game. Seven to three, D. Jones trailing by four. Big fourth down. Yeah, and if you don't convert here, the reason it's a big moment is because you already give the ball back to Joe in field goal range. Yeah, and he didn't take his three from the one-yard line. So it's it. Kept this game seven to three. McNabb. And that's going to be a turnover on downs. He'll have it at the 33-yard line. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Young Kiv battling back in this one. Kicks the field goal. He's now up one touchdown, 10-3, over goes. So a good game over there. we got a good game here, a tight one. 157 to go. Ball at the 33 for Joke. How about a quick run off the edge? And he goes to Dorsett. Big block on the outside. And Tony D. D for joke. As I was saying, <laughs> how about a quick run off the left edge? And what you see here, a bunch of defenders in the middle of the field, which then opens up off this left edge. You're going to see there's all the defenders in the interior of the field. You get one block on Alexander, Dorsett does the rest. You called it, partner. You can call the number at the bottom of your screen, and Gibbs will do your psychic readings. 1 800 call Gibbs. <laughs> Ah, that's yeah, not enough. Call, call S. Gibbs. <laughs> so 150 after the big touchdown run by Tony Dorsett. And now D. Jones is in a familiar spot. Been trailing all day. He this hasn't is, played terrible. This he is, hasn't played bad. He's played terrible. Bad. I love it. I love it. I've been waiting for you to bust that out. You haven't used that one in a long time. It's been pretty rough. I mean, he's, he reminds me of my golf game. He's really good on the range. Once you get on the course, it's all over the place. I feel like you're great from 50 and in. I feel, I feel like you are a phenomenal 50 and in golfer. You just get in there. If it's, and a, if it's a seven iron, I got it. Your money with a seven iron? If it's a That's seven iron, club? I got it. Yep. I just broke my five iron the other day. It was terrible. <laughs> your best lies in the clubhouse. <laughs> Third and six. That moves it to the 33. So fourth and two. And if you went for it before, you got to go for it now. Yeah, and if you're Jones, what I'd love to see here, you need to really start vertically stretching the middle of the field here. Let's run Davis up the middle of the field, run a backside drag off of it, and complete it for a first down. Well, he's got guys open early. The flat is open early, but he will just not get it done. Another turnover. On downs, ball now to 33. Yeah, and Joke, rather than go for the interception, he clicks on and goes for the SWAT right there. You can see at the top of the screen, user SWAT uh, for the incomplete pass. And Jokes look good 
And this one thus far had a big win over his buddy goes. And now he's got a 14 to three lead under a minute to go in the half. Both guys with three timeouts. And that's going to bring up third and four. Let's go to Zach with a game break. This one's getting very interesting. Goes Madden on defense, gets the force fumble, and he runs it all the way back to tie this game up before the half. I love it. Love it, scooping the score over there. And I love those Redskins unis. We, we haven't seen much of the Redskins as far as uniform selection this year. And neither of their fans. <laughs> Ouch. So ball at the 16-yard line, first and 10 for Joke. Looking to make a statement here in the first half of game number two. He's 1-0 so far in the group. Good D, Jones. D, Jones is 0-1. Good patience, though, getting into the flats. Nobody was open. He's 8 of 11 for 56 yards. And that clock continues to move. That's not a bad thing if you're, if you're Joke here. You Get out of here quickly with the score. That might have been a time to use the timeout. So now it's third and three. You can't take those timeouts reading. with you. You, you, got, you can't take them with you. You might as well use them. But, you know, still 13 seconds here. You can still call all your plays uh, if you're joke here. Watch the back of the end zone if to Jerry Rice here if you're D. Jones. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Joke's also going to get the ball to start the half, and he's in there for a touchdown. Wow, skirting along the goal line, breaking the plane. And he's going to go up 21-3, to three, Gibbs. Yeah, if you remember earlier in the game, we talked about that motion from the bunch formation. He does it again here. Motion's in Moss. You see he runs a delayed pattern, then finds him on the late break on the corner. That's the second time he's gone to that play now in a pivotal third down situation, and he's converted both of them. That's a clear money play for Joke. So anyone watching this tournament, got to key in on that. <laughs> You're selling scouting reports now, too? Selling, Is there an e-book coming all. out? Selling them all. So D. Jones having a rough afternoon. He's given up, six, what, 66 points? I, listen, this was the, some of the question marks a lot yeah. of people had about him coming into this tournament. Uh, you know, he did extremely well in the draft champions event back in the Madden Classic. Uh, he lost in the fi uh, in the finals to spot me please there. And the major question is, you know, is he a draft champions player? Is he a beginning of the year player? Uh, and you're starting to see some of those questions be answered here. So this will be the last play Jeez. of the half. Throws it off his back foot. And really, that throw. As ugly as it was, sort of has summarized the first half for D. Jones. Difficult, difficult possession there for D. Jones throughout that entire first half. I mean, he opened up the half well, right? I mean, he was dinking and dunking, but outside of those short passes, he doesn't really have much a a available to him right now. Yeah, he sort of, they, they say you're in a box. I mean, he's, he's a mime right it's now. He's box. in the box. It's a box, as Wild would say. So what, is he, what does he need to do? I mean, I've seen a little bit of openings in the flats if he wants to go the quick throws, but he's determined to go downfield. What I'm seeing is when he gets into these crucial third down situations, he is becoming very easy to read. He's been going to that Z-spot post on the play where you saw a joke click on and go for the user swat. It, it, he's going to all the things everyone's anticipating and expecting. He needs to kind of change things up a little bit, start going vertically downfield on first and second downs instead of just taking the flat all game. He's a guy and a guy that sort of lives off of motion, the sort of swag. He's had nothing to swag about. I mean, that's part of his game, right? I mean, also, he, he's kind of changed his game a little bit here coming into this tournament. Yeah. He's a run-first player, right? And he's chucking the ball over the field. And he's only run the ball, I think, five times in the, in the first half. It's just... It's not the D. Jones I know, whether you like him or not. We haven't seen a lot of him. Let's go to halftime break with the guys. Thanks, fellas. Rico, Zach, through a game and a half, D. Jones is being outscored 66 to 3. Not the game plan you wanted coming into this tournament. Rico, where does he go from here? How do you start this comeback? I don't think you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really think that you just have to, you know, do your best. I, in my short but illustrious athletic career, I was told, win if you can, lose if you must, but always look good for the camera. <laughs> well, you got that going so far, Rico. You got that down. Uh, Farrell's, you know, looking at what's happened in this, this, this first half here against Joke, 
How, what does Joke need to keep doing to continue his dominance? I mean, Joke is playing phenomenal football. There's a reason he has the highest winning percentage of all the competitors mm -hmm. here. And this Group B is going to get very, very tight because as good as Kiv is, this goes game's very tight. Joke's looking good. And then those two are going to have to battle it out. So nobody, he can't afford to take the second half off against D. Jones, even though it looks like he is in command of this football game. One thing you got to say, and you got to give credit to Joke, the only knock that he's ever had was being able to control his emotions. Mm. And he has his emotions in check, and he has his opponents in check. Right now, he is looking phenomenal. Absolutely, Joke looking great. In our other game, which Zach was keeping an eye on, Young Kiv against Ghost. Young Kiv had a big touchdown here. Zach, walk us through this. Yeah, I mean, this was just a run commit from Ghost Madden, a very aggressive play. You're going up against Kiv. It burnt him. But he managed to get back in it with that defensive play that we saw, and that one's sitting super tight at the half, and we'll keep everybody up to date on that. Awesome, man. Before we head down to Dreo, want to remind everybody that the biggest FIFA competitive gaming event continues on May 6th. Watch the best FIFA 17 players compete in the FUT Championship Series regional finals live from Madrid, Spain. For more info, visit FUTChampions.com. Later today, we are keeping it moving in Group B. Young Kiv is going to take on Joke. Rico, that's, that's a pretty solid matchup. That Young Kiv versus Joke game is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Depending on how that goes Young Kiv game winds up, this could be for all the marbles. Absolutely. And speaking of Joke, let's go to Drea. She's with him on the field. Drea? Thanks so much, Joke. Your aggressive play has really paid off. How do you continue to capitalize on that in the second half? I have to just keep playing offense the way I'm playing offense. He's not really stopping me at all. So I kind of just have to take my flat passes, control the game, and just finish the game. Like Just, just take little dots on the clock and try to give him the ball as least as, least as possible as I can the whole second half. Rico mentioned it, and I was talking to you about this off-camera. Your temperament has been even keel this entire first half. Tell me a little bit about your emotions. You're known for being a more up, pumped up, turned up guy. What changed? Well, season one and two, I played terrible because I got pretty unlucky, and I just like let my emotions get the best of me. So now, like, when I was home practicing, I would play with music. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to keep my, like, get my emotions under control. So. Well, it's working. All right. Best of luck in the second half. Thank you. All right. Let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. Thank you so much, Drea. Well, we've had a interesting first half. It's, let's be honest. It's been all joke. Dominating performance from Joke in this first half here, but D. Jones still has a lot of time to get back in this one. Needs to start playing D. Jones branded football here in the second half. Defense, play a lot of coverage defense. That's where we've seen him play great. Run the ball here if you're D. Jones. That's been the staple of how you've done so well at these tournaments. I've seen him morph in a, uh, into a passing player here that's kind of against the grain from what we're used to seeing him. Yeah, he's had zero momentum. Since getting here, to be honest with you, he got put on blast by Kiv. Oh, and now Joke has got him against the ropes here. 21 to 3. And just as I thought, Joke is going to start the half with a football. Ten minutes left for D. Jones to turn around his fate. And there is a dibbity dot at the 42 yard line. So first and 10, 18 point lead. A play action from McNabb. And he'll scramble, gets away from one. And a little chuckle out of Deep Jones. He moves it to the 31 yard line for Joke. Absolute stick work right there from Joke. A little shake and bake with McNabb. McNabb is one of those quarterbacks that has sneaky mobility that you don't have to worry about in every possession. So first and 10 at the 31. All right, a minute gone by here in the half. A little delayed handoff to Dorsett. And boy, Tony D has been big. He's got 89 yards. Let's go to Zach for a game break. Give now up 20 to 10 in the third quarter. Did it on this pass right here. Straight into the end zone. Nice animation. He's in control. I love that camera angle. Don't at me. And on first and 10 from the 18, drops the football, and that's going to bring up second and 10. I like what I'm seeing here from Joke. He's using a lot of the play clock here to wind this clock down. You're, you're up in a, uh, in a big way right here. Run the ball a little bit, get the clock going, try to get out of here with a W. 10 yards again here on second down, McNabb. Decides to check it down on the crossing route. That'll move it 
Two yards forward to the 16, and he's gone over 100 yards passing. Good recognition from D. Jones right there. He was actually on that motion corner we talked about uh, that Joke has been running. He used it, took it away, forced uh, Joke to take the short option to get into a third and long. So a big third down here. You gotta watch Moss. A lot of times what we were saying here, the motion, right? He Moss right here, he'll motion him inside. He runs a delayed pattern, and then he goes on a quick corner, just bang, bang, right there. He'll run it again. Let's see if the safety can jump it. Had a user there. McNabb takes off. Takes the contact, and there's the fumble. Chuck my whole team. Eight guys on the tackle. And here you can see the rollout with McNabb. No one open. Good coverage defense from Jones. We said that's what he needed to do. He comes out, runs a little bit of coverage, forces McNabb to scramble, doesn't protect the, the loaf, fumbles it. Could have been much worse. It's the kind of area you get a scoop and a score. I'll get you right back in it. Well, he takes over at the nine yard line. He's got to move the football. Goes to Howard. Howard hangs on at the 15, and here comes a little upper tempo. At some point, though, all these little short underneath passes, they're going to open up these deep verticals down that sideline if Gene Jones takes them. And Harrison hangs on. A big third down coming up. Let's go to Zach for a game break. Scott, you goes to me. I go to goes. He's gozing on a drive right here. 2017 third quarter. A great response drive in this one. Give with the ball, but goes is now fighting his way back in. So third and three for D. Jones. Has a man wide open. Runs out of bounds at the 34-yard line. I mean, he's, he's 20 of 30, which is not a bad ratio. Just unable to generate any points. And this time, Howard will go nowhere. That was the first time I've, I've seen Noble joke here take away that short flat. So he now starting to take that away. Does Jones, D. Jones recognize that? Does he now start attacking vertically? You can take the flats away, but you will open up the, down, the downfield sideline. Now. And finds Howard over the middle. I just call him Joke. Am I wrong there? It, 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 it seems a normal joke. It you seems know, English. I, every once in a while, these Sir guys, Joke. These guys that have all these sponsors, you know, competitive man has come so far. It's true. You got to give them a little bit of shout out when. Uh, Every once in a while here. Yeah, almost half this field is now moving their way up in that eSports world. Good heat. And McNabb barely gets rid of it. That'll bring up a second and ten, avoiding the sack. Yeah, what makes it difficult is you send a blitz off of one of the, the edges there, and if the halfback's not on that side, you don't usually pick up the pressure, and that's what you saw in that previous play. Trips to the left here on second and ten. 127 left in the third. And has Harrison open. And he gets wrapped up at the 17-yard line. Biggest play of the day thus far for Jones. That's what we were talking about here. You take away the short flat right there, open up that deep sideline pattern for a big play. You heard Joke say he thought he had him spotlighted. Still able to work his way open down the sideline. McNabb, there's a block shed. And there's Joey Bosa on the sack. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Shocker over here. This one's goes Madden. 24-20 over Kiv. Did it with a defensive touchdown, which he brought all the way home for the score. This one's now heading to the fourth quarter. Wow, goes with the lead after the pick six. Thanks, Zach. Second and 16 now. McNabb will throw it away. That's going to bring up a big third down for D. Jones. 35 passes. Who is this man? He has completely changed the way he plays John Madden football, but now third and 16 spot. Watch for pressure off this right edge. That's where we're seeing it come from Joke here. But you're still in a situation where you must take a field goal to make it a two-possession game if you're Jones. You know what? Winning was getting overrated. Let's, let's switch it up. Well, he's only had a field goal today. He's given up 66 points, and he's only scored three through the first two games. Yeah, and you know, I, I think this is an absolute mistake here. You can get into a situation where you can make it a two-score game, give yourself a, an opportunity here, and not go for fourth and 16. Very difficult to convert. Seems like Joke is fine bending and not breaking. Giving up a ton of yards, but he's able to hold them. Out of pay dirt. Fourth and 16, you got it? Yeah, <laughs> throw it away. 
Yeah, All right, scary. I'm done. You can take it the rest of the way. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, I, I like the aggressive nature, but when, when you have an opportunity, to, you know, you haven't been playing great. Put a field goal up on the board and make it a two-possession game, and you still have a, a great opportunity with a defensive stop uh, to get right back in it. But now, you, you know, you're going to see a lot of milk and cookies right now from Joke. He's going to run the ball here, run the clock out. You can see he puts his controller down. He's going to have a sip of water. Yeah, that'll... Take us to the fourth quarter as Tony Dorsett. Six carries for 91 yards for Tony Dorsett. It's been a big part of the offense for Joke. And on the opposite side, we haven't really seen D. Jones run the ball. I mean, right now what we're seeing is this. You got a D, you're going to spell the name out, D. Jones. Right, right here, D. Yeah. Jones. So I'm game, learning. Yep. And then what we're going to get here, I can't even get over there. S down there, All okay? Right. Or right. you're going to cross out his defense. Yep. You're going to cross out the offense, and it's J Ness. Because we're not seeing anything. You're not seeing it right now. Second and eight. It's just science. Randy That's what Moss it is. At this right point, there. it's just science. It's science. Bill Nye told it to me. You always trust Bill Nye. The third and eight. That's wild as fuck. Well, play action. McNabb. Has all day, and then there's a man stumbling after the playmaker to the 44-yard line. Let's go to Zach with a game break. Big time takeover from Goes Madden. Fourth quarter, he just stopped Young Kiv in the red zone. He's got the ball, he's on a march, wow. and we will keep you updated on that, Scott. That's bad. The game is looking good over there. Goes with a... Big four-point lead. And Dorsett juking and jiving through the 39-yard line. Close to hitting the century mark. And Joke is one of those guys that uh, was talking with him earlier, and he said he loves to be uh, the, the enemy. He loves to be the guy that everyone goes looks against. Say, You're the troll of the community. He'll chirp at you online when you're playing a game. He'll chirp at you in person. But the thing about Joke uh, is he backs it up when you play him in person. He will chirp at you once yeah. you see him. Uh, and he backs it up with his gameplay as well. So he might call you out tell you he's going to beat you. Some up well, I'm shit. just going to be quiet while he starts <laughs> spitting <laughs> bars. His album's coming out next Nine Tuesday. I'd love to get on Spotify. Is he a part of the Tinder Spaces lineup? He can, we can ask him if he wants to join Tinder Spaces. I think he's a little too hardcore to join Tinder Spaces. Uh, we'll have to ask Drea if she's interested in letting Joke join Tinder Spaces. Because you know that Zach's not making that decision. No, no. <laughs> Drea's in charge of that. So first and ten from the 16. And they go to Tony Dorsett. And old Tony D will fall forward to the 10-yard line. And congratulations, you have 102 yards. On eight carries with two touchdowns. That is a phenomenal way to control the line of scrimmage for Joe here. Was that a play act? Was that was that PA around for the touchdown? Shout out Matt 15. <laughs> a little PA end around right there. Shout out to Prop. Shout out to the movement. A little PA end around. Arguably one of the greatest plays in the history of Madden. Absolutely. One of the hardest plays to stop. Seven plays, 78 yards in the score. And he's up 28 to 3. OD Jones. Let's go over to my main man, Z Farls, with the game break. Scott, I'm hanging on to this bad boy because we've got fourth quarter action, and unlike your blowups you've had today, we're hanging on to this for everything we've got because Goes Madden just got an interception on Young no, Kiv. Don't go out. Group B superstar put on a great performance in his first game, but right now, Kiv's trying to get that ball back. Rico, what have you seen in this game so far? Secure the ball and execute on offense as this fourth quarter winds down. Second and five here for Goes. Two minutes, 48 seconds to go. He's got Dak Prescott handing off to Ricky Williams, and we've got a big third and two coming up in this one. Ricky Williams just seven yards on six carries. While he's not been able to move the ball on the ground, he has been successful on the pass. He's been working the flats, taking what the defense gives him, just moving the chains. Gibbs still has three timeouts. Oh, he's man. got the blitz coming in, and he gets the interception with Come Night on, Train bro. Lane on the throw, and now Kiv takes over at midfield. Now this is where his tournament savvy is going to come into play. There's two minutes and 26 Bad seconds. Look man. for Kim to try to make this the last possession of the game. 
All right, his quarterback is Steve McNair. Hasn't made all the throws in this one like he did in the first game, but let's see if Goes Madden can stand up one more time in the red zone. McNair looking, dropping back across the middle, goes underneath defender, can't get to it, and it's a first down to the 32. He has people running open everywhere. This is where Goes being his first time in this hot seat, we're gonna really get a chance to see how tested he is. 44 passes for Kib in this game. Five takeaways for Goes. What will give first? He's down by four, Rico. A field goal doesn't do it. What's your mentality? My mentality oh, is make man. sure you milk the clock. You don't want to give him any chances to do this. You know you need that touchdown. Big time players make big time plays. Goes needs a win. He's 0-1, lost the joke 14-10 in his first game. Young Kib with a huge win against D. Jones in his game. Saw that Joke defeated D. Jones earlier, almost. And then we've got Brown, one-handed catch, and Young oh Kim scores God, the touchdown. He takes a three-point lead, pending this extra point. Oh my God. Over goes. Did you see the look on Young Kim's face while he's happy he got in the end zone? He realized he let too much time Let's and then misses that extra point. That very well could come back and haunt him. All right, two-point game here. We're gonna throw it back to Scott. What action? Thanks so much. Yeah, heating up over there. Two-point game. We got a not not as close over here on this side. Yeah, 25-point game. <laughs> Two-point game. 25-point game. I'm like a man on bald tires, just blowout after blowout. The box sheds. Joey Bosa. We, you know, we That's talked about it before. You and I did. We talked about it with RG. Joey Bosa. You know, with those the way his stats and attributes line up, he's absolute glitch on the block shed. Yeah, he's a monster on the field. A lot of speed, a lot of that, uh, athleticism on the field that he brings. Yeah, here he goes again. A little spin move this time, but he finds Davis. Cannot hold on. Vernon Davis. Not able to haul it in. Fourth and 33. Fourth and Larry Bird. I've always wanted to call that one out. You don't get into many Larry Bird situations, though. You got to play for this guy. 52 you seconds. I throw it up. I know Voltrax has a play for this uh, He one. does. Voltrax does. And he ends up Guess giving. Who? Well, that's Aaron Donald this time. I thought it was Joey Bosa, big number 99, but it's the other 99, Aaron Donald. So it looks like Joke is going to move. The 2-0, a big victory here. And let's go back to Zach 